What's good, Joel? It's Shigama Kai. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers and every subscriber helps. Over here on the channel, we make daily NBA content. So if you enjoy the NBA as much as I do, please subscribe. And you know, y'all already know what this video is going to be about. Bucks Celtics just happened. Giannis misses the game time free throw to, you know, go to overtime. And, you know, we just had a hood classic on the first night of the NBA, you know. No, 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 no. On the second night. But the Bucks Celtics first game of the season, already a hood classic. So, you know, some takeaways. I'm just telling you my takeaways from this game. Giannis onto the Kumpo. He has really diversified his game because late game, I'm not even going to kill him for missing that free throw. He missed the free throw. It happens. Sometimes shots don't fall. I'm not going to kill him for that. But Giannis onto the Kumpo, he was hitting these post fades that I've never seen him really hit consistently. He had a couple of post fades late game. And then in the fourth quarter, he's hitting this pull up three. And I'm like, what's going on? And, you know, maybe Giannis would have had a better game if Marcus Smart didn't draw all those charges on him. And, you know, clap it up for Marcus Smart. He drew three charges on that man, like, early. So Giannis had to sit down for a little while. So we might have even seen, like, a 40-42 piece from Giannis had he not, you know, had to sit down for, you know, the three fouls, you know, the foul trouble that Marcus Smart put him in. But what we got to say, Jalen Brown is that dude, man. Jalen Brown has that. He has a bag. Yeah, and you know, Jalen Brown in the mid-range is very, very scary. And he can get to the rim. I feel like like we really would have expected Jason Tatum to do what Jalen Brown was doing all night. Because Jason Tatum, he started off slow. He had, I think he had like nine in the third quarter. But then in the third quarter, you know, here comes Jason Tatum. He starts heating up. And you know, the Celtics, I wouldn't, if I was a Celtics fan, you know, if I'm in the Celtics locker room, I wouldn't feel as amazing as y'all think they should feel because... They really had, they were up a lot. They were up big in the third quarter. And they were, I think they were up lead going into the fourth quarter. And the Bucks, you know, just came back. Giannis is coming back, layup after layup, post fade after post fade. He had that three, he's getting into the line. Drew Holiday had a great debut for the Bucks, And, you know, he's just showing off why he's one of the most underrated scorers in the NBA. Because when you look at him, you know, you're not going to think, when you think of Drew Holiday, you don't immediately think of, you know, amazing shot creator. Drew Holiday is an amazing, outstanding shot creator. And the combos he does and how he and how he can just get to spots. He had a late game clutch three. That feel is gonna go unnoticed because they lost now. But and Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton was on triple double alert tonight, you know, triple double watch. And Chris Middleton, I, I didn't notice it, you know, earlier, you know, last year, but Chris Middleton got a little bad. He can get to that mid-range spot. He can knock those things down. And you know, he was out there dominant folks. Giannis out there, you know, dominant folks too. And hold on, let me pull up the stats real quick. This man really went insane. Like, Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown had 33 points. 33 points. And I feel like, I feel like late game, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum were kind of taking, you know, turns in the fourth quarter. But when they got to a certain point, I think they said it on the broadcast, Jason Tatum scored seven of the, la of the Bucks' last nine points. And, you know, we can't ask for a better moment in an NBA game than, you know, Jason Tatum versus Giannis Antetokounmpo. And, you know, Jason Tatum, you know, he's a great, great scorer, you know, amazing. But he did not call back on that shot. He did not know that was going in. Giannis is really long, so, you know, when Giannis put his hand up, he stretched it out. Jason Tatum's only hope was to throw it, you know, near the rim, and it just banked in, and, you know, bless his lucky stars for that. But that was a great shot. I can't take nothing away from that. That was an amazing shot. And can we talk about Jeff Teague, man? 19 points. He came out, hit a couple threes. He came out early, getting to the rim, getting to the free throw line, knocking down three point shots. Let's talk about, you know, Jeff Teague. He seems to be like a good pickup for the Boston Celtics. You know, I'm very excited about that to see that for the rest of the season. Tristan Thompson's coming in, you know, he's still showing that energy, you know, that he used to have in Cleveland. He's still, you know, battling for rebounds. He has that little jump hook he likes to go to. They hit him, you know, right in the paint. He goes to that little jump hook. I think he had about, what he had? Yeah, he had about, you know, 12 points. Daniel Tice. Man, if the, if the Celtics would have lost this game, because I know a lot of people are going to forget, you know, some key moments in this game. Daniel Tice had a wide open three. Brick. And then the Bucks came down, and I think that led to them leading. And that, had, you know, that led to, you know, Jason Tatum having to shoot the three to, you know, be up one. No, no, be up two, I mean. But Daniel Tice, he did miss that wide open three. But I'm not going to kill him for that. I'm not going to, you know, roast him for that. He came out. He had those two first threes, knocked him down. I'm thinking, you know. Man, Daniel Tice is knocking stuff down early. Maybe, you know, this is going to carry over for the rest of the game. He started off 2-0, and, and then for the rest of the game, he was 0-4. So, 
You know, like Chris Webber said on the broadcast, you know, it was fool's gold. Daniel Tice is not, you know, a knockdown shooter yet. They run a lot of, the Celtics run a lot of pick and pop stuff. You know, they set the screen and the two Bucks defenders focus on the man with the ball. And then, you know, the person who set the screen rolls back out to shoot the three. And it was working. They were getting a lot of open looks from that. And some of them were going down. Some of them weren't. But had it not been, I think, I think the Bucks would won this game had Giannis not been in foul trouble. But I, I don't like to do ifs. I don't like to do hypotheticals. Congratulations to the Boston Celtics. That was just an amazing, amazing game. For that to be their first game. And, you know, the Milwaukee Bucks, you know, they should not hold their heads down tonight. They were able to come back. Giannis showed that he's very confident in that jump shot now. Like, because before he would really just try to barrel his way to the paint. And, you know, he's still stuck in his ways a little bit. He's still trying to barrel his way to the paint, which led to all those charges. Because Giannis on the Kubo's only fouls were for most of the game were just offensive fouls. Like, that was it. So, I think he had about four offensive fouls. All charges because he's trying to barrel into the paint. So, I think late game, it was exciting to see, you know, he's getting post, post touches. And instead of trying to, you know, spin and, you know, hook him with the elbow, he's fading away like that. I'm very excited to see that. Giannis Antetokounmpo with a jump shot has to be the scariest thing in the NBA today. But what are some takeaways that, you know, I have for the Celtics? The Celtics need to learn how to hold the lead, man, because... They were doing the same exact thing in the playoffs. They would have a big lead early. Then late game, they just, you know, let the team chip away at the lead and chip and chip and chip and chip. But Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum almost right on cue. They started to heat up once again. Hold on, let me see. Something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They had, they, had an amazing they had an amazing game. And, you know, who knows? Maybe if Kemba Walker is playing tonight, the game isn't this close. But once again, the if scenarios... But, yeah, that was a great game. You know, both teams have a lot that they need to, you know, work on. Because the Bucks, they were getting on transition early. So, the Celtics need to, you know, focus on stopping teams and just transition. Because early in the game, they were getting destroyed in transition. And, you know, the Bucks, they kind of have to, you know, work on that late game defense. Because I feel like off the pick and roll, that drop, well, drop coverage is what a lot of teams use in the NBA. But off the pick and roll, I feel like the Celtics, you know, Jason Tatum and Jason Brown, I feel like they were getting a lot of, you know, good looks in the mid-range, especially late game. But early in the game, the Celtics were getting into the room very easily. They were getting into the free throw line. So, you know, they kind of just need to reel that in. But I'm not going to kill them. This is the first game of the season. But I'm just very excited as an NBA fan for the NBA to be back. And that was a great, you know, classic game already for this season. And I can't wait to see what we have, what else is in store for us this year. So if you see this in this video, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.